What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, T, and today I'm here to talk about Cash App and stocks on Cash App, the stock portion of the Cash App, what if, if I should say. But anyways, I just want to say, uh, by any way, this is not any financial advice. This is my experiences, my thoughts. This is what I encountered while using the uh, stock side of Cash App. So with that being said, let's get into it. Let me go ahead and do 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 do. Let me open up the app here. Starting out here, I'm I am in the like I said stock portion. I'm not really too much fan of the Bitcoin, but that's not what we're here to discuss. We are here to discuss the stock. So as of right now, I can cash out readily uh, seven hundred ninety three dollars and one cent. Today I made a profit of fourteen dollars and ninety five. The the market was up by one point nine percent today for me, and yeah, that's pretty good because I started out at what ten a.m. at seven. Seven, what, seven, three, more or less? Yeah, I'm trying to get it to it, but yeah, seven, seven, three, four to five at 10 a.m. So, ooh, I was down, then I jumped up to 793. So, everybody knows stocks is an up and down game, um, is essentially gambling in a sense. Uh, me personally, I don't put in more than I am willing to lose. And no, I did not drop. Well, let me show you. It says right now I invested 803.67. And I have lost a total of ten dollars and six cents. No, I did not drop eight hundred and three dollars <laughs> in at one time. Um, I was basically just testing the water. I put twenty dollars here, ten dollars here, five dollars here, and uh, when it came to a certain stock, and I did buy that particular stock because I had, you know, kind of did my research in a sense, and I was like, well, this might be a great time for me to buy. And as you see, I can scroll down real quick. Coinbase, I'm up. Fifteen dollars. So, <laughs> go figure. If I decide to sell Coinbase, I made a profit. Of my 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 share that is, I made a profit of fifteen dollars and twelve cent. I do want to say, the stuff that I am currently invested in, and you probably see in the screen right now, like, oh, I need to go invest in this, and I see how much he's doing. The stock market goes up and down. This right here, my fifteen was once negative fifty. You know what I'm saying? And that was probably a couple of weeks ago. So, with that being said. It goes up and go down. Um, when it's at a great point, you should sell it. If not, just hold on to it. And right now, for me personally, I am holding on to my stocks just to see where it goes. Uh, Coinbase is fairly new. Apple has been around, so you are know Apple. Their share price is got through, through the roof, I should say, $174. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not like Amazon. But anyways, Amazon, let me jump to Amazon real quick. I know I'm getting all over the place, but Amazon share price is $3,000, God damn, Amazon, y'all got that money. So when it comes to, you know, cash app and stocks, I think it is a good little, what what, what you want to call it, side hustle in a sense. Um, it just depends if you have, the honestly, the time to keep up with it. Like I said, I'm doing it for the long run, so I'm not on here every second of the day like, you know, doing like day trading or anything like that. So for me, I have a nine to five. I, I mean, I go to work Monday through Friday and, you know, I check it when I can at work. So usually I try to check it, you know, every other hour or so or when I'm thinking about it and see how, how the market is doing. Um, however, let me tell you a backstory about Coinbase. I had invested uh, like two something. I forgot the exact number, um, but the market was going down and I was losing money. And I was like, wait a minute, hold up. Y'all ain't finna get me, play, play boy. Y'all ain't finna get me. So what had happened was I ended up selling my stock. I ended up losing like between, I think, 40 and $6. I forgot the exact number, but I ended up losing between whatever it was. And I kind of felt bad because I was like, why did I sell that stock? I freaked out because I seen it going down. Also, I was new into it. So I'm just like, wait a minute. Y'all ain't finna hit me for the whole two, two, 200 that I done put in. So... So I was like, dang, I should have, you know, just stuck in, uh, stuck with it and not, you know, cashed out. But then I bought it. <clears throat> I rebought the stock, as you see. <clears throat> Excuse me. I rebought the stock, as you see. And what I did was I bought it at a price that I felt like was the cheapest. And then uh, then it started going up. So let me show you the breakdown of how they do. Let's do. OK, so they do it by day, week, month, year, and then all. So all, let me just show you, they started out in 20, April 13th, 2021. So they're fairly new. Uh, with that being said, let's go to the day. So today, the lowest was at 10.06 and the stock, the share price was roughly at 188. 
94 and it went up it went down and then it kind of plateaued in a sense at 197 right now it is at 197 so that's how the day went when you look at week this is what i look for so the lowest it has ever dropped in the recent week was 163 in a month the lowest it ever dropped was let's see 163 so 163 is is the ballpark to buy if you if you're really looking at it um, like I said, this is not financial advice. This is what I did and how I was thinking. So one sixty three. If I see it getting close to one sixty three, I I'm either finna put more money in or I'm finna uh I'm talking finna I'm about to put more money in or <laughs> um because I know y'all y'all be in the comment section about the about to snap that finna is not a word. It's not a word. And I'm just like, bro, I'm from the south, bro. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. But anyways. <laughs> So, but yeah, so I just look for the lowest point of it all. And basically that's how I decide when to buy and when not to buy, when to sell, when not to sell. Like right now I'm up $15. I could sell it and make a profit, but oh, Cora, you made $15, buy a lot. But like I said, I'm in it for the long run. Um, One thing I do like about uh, the cash shop and the stocks and everything is they give you articles. Top, I'm talking about from news, news to you know, daily vlogs or whatever you want to call it about each and every one. Let me go to Coinbase again. So check it out. Coinbase have articles that talk about crypto. They got different mainstream article, you know, type type thing, market watch and, you know, just all kind of stuff to keep you informed about the company, you know, how they're doing, what they got planned. I seen on here, I think Apple, was it Apple? Yeah. Apple launches the first daily newsletter targeting Bay Area readers. Like it just, keep you informed about what they have going on. Um, so that's pretty cool in my eyes. And then one thing I like is you can, uh, you, you know, buy, sell or whatever, but you can also give it to someone and you can give us, give a certain amount of the stock to, you know, a family or friend or something. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, the key component about cash app and the whole stock side of things, you do not have to invest in a full share, which is pretty cool. I did not invest in the full share of Apple. I did five dollars. Like I said, I was just testing out the waters. Right now, I just made seven cents. So imagine if I would have put more into it, I would have got more in return, and I clearly bought it at a good price or good uh, share price because I'm up seven seven cent. But like I said, it goes up, it goes down. Who knows? It's all relative. The stock market is is more so just a prediction. You looking at, you know, you have the guys who have the ten screens, and they like, oh my god. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I made $1,000 a day, but I don't see personally how to make, how you can make $1,000 a day off of cash app using stocks unless you invest a bunch of money into a particular stock and they are actually doing well. And what I did was, uh, once again, what I did was I looked at different companies that I find appealing, uh, that I find attractive, that I find that are innovative who's going to be around for a while so that's who i invested in uh like you see coinbase apple uber amazon at t kroger chesapeake energy netflix tesla well it the sky's the limit and i have a few that i'm following and thinking about joining in the near future um but when it comes down to it i think it's more so you know some people feel like oh well how do i how, how do i know what to invest in invest in what you like invest in what what intrigues you to me I'm not finna invest in Nike, Reebok, uh, Adidas, this, this, this. No, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna invest in different companies that have uh, different characteristics that are unique. Like prime example, let's go to Coinbase. Coinbase, Coinbase focuses on finance. And that's another thing that I like too. It tells you what it's featured in. Banking and finance and technology, boom. So now let's take it a step further. Let's go to Amazon. Amazon, what do you? what is your focus? Their focus is shopping and technology. Kroger. Let's go to Kroger real quick. Kroger is going to be big, I feel like. Uh, food and drink. Walmart. Walmart. Walmart was up when I first started. I'm native three. I, I did a whole share of Walmart. So uh, I'm not too mad about that. Um, but what are they? Food and drink and shopping. So like I said, I try to keep a diverse, uh, you know, group of stocks just in case one is going up one is going down as you see negative 10.6 is lost but i made 14 dollars a day so don't look at it as oh well you don't invest it 
800, you still losing $10. If I cashed out, I would lose $10. But if I just cashed out on Coinbase, I just made 15. So you got to look at it from that standpoint. Um, also, if I cash out with Coinbase with $15 extra in my pocket, maybe I can invest that 15 into another stock or increase the value of my Netflix stock. Who knows? So that's just that. Um, but I do like the fact that it shows you, you know, the different uh, type of, you know, stocks that are relevant, most traded monthly. They kind of break it down, daily movers and everything. Uh, one thing I do want to point out, too, that I found amazing was it gives you a breakdown, a breakdown of what the company is in case you don't even know. You know what I'm saying? So it tells you when it's founded. It tells you what it's about. It tells you, you know, more or less the CEO, the industry. It tells you the employees and the headquarters. It tells you basically everything you need to know right here. Um, and you can do your you can do further research if you are not too sure. You're not, you know, you're not really comfortable with just going ahead and just going all in. So, like I said, I put a couple dollars in. We'll see where it go. I want y'all to stick around with your boy. And uh, I think that's about it for my first review of the app. It's just a, you know, a, a overview, really. And then I can really break down, like I said, how I decide to buy, sell. Um, and like I said, overall, the past year, see, right here when I first started, let's do all. Uh, First started, it went down, and now it's coming back up now because I, what I feel like I'm learning the system and how it goes. I'm starting fresh out the gate. I don't know nothing about stocks. I'm just the dude that know a dude that 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 know a dude. <laughs> I'm just playing. But seriously, though, I'm fresh out the gate. I had to do my research, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop being scared. I'm just hopping to it. I heard so many stories about, uh, you know, taking the risk and, you know, what what comes with stocks and this, that, and other. And that's, and that's why I sit with a model and never put in, you know, more than you're willing to lose. So if this just so happened to disappear today, tomorrow, I'm not really mad because I know what I went into it, you know, with the intent of. And, you know, it's like essentially, like I said, gambling from the jump. Um, so with that being said, if y'all want to stick around, see the progress, the the process, the the thoughts, the concerns and Anything else that I, you know, that sparks my attention, I would definitely make a video and uh, keep you guys informed. With that being said, y'all, I appreciate the uh, love and support. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. Um, like I said, I will come with more videos to break it down and explain to you guys, uh, you know, my process. Once again, I keep repeating myself, but my process and, you know, just trying to see if I can make some coins off the coin app i mean the cash app but you know you know what i'm trying to do i'm trying to get to the money but anyways uh so yeah so with that being said y'all hold it down it's your work yeah